So we are here against the Israeli genocide, but we are also here against British complicity with the Israeli genocide. Yeah. Yeah. The, against, against the complicity of the British state and against the complicity of the British corporate sector. Yeah. They are all complicit and we are fighting against them. Free Palestine. reported that four Israeli hostages were rescued, never mind 200 to 300 Palestinians killed. But we will not forgive and we will not forget that we will continue to tell estimated that at least 493 health work, healthcare workers have been killed in Gaza during the months of relentless attacks on healthcare. Uh, just 13 WHO international emergency medical teams are left in Gaza. In this country, I was involved in organizing a letter from 1,500 doctors uh, to the Prime Minister asking that he immediately called calls for a ceasefire. Now we were not even given a reply. So in this circumstance, while entire families in Gaza, entire communities are living in tents, we bring tribute to those people who are camped out here in tents in solidarity with those in Gaza. And so from the river to the sea. I just want to say it's so important that we stand firm to the BDS movement. We have seen the success in South Africa. Yeah. We need to hit them where it hurts, yeah. and that is their pockets. All states should sever relationships with Israel to show support for human rights and international law. According to international law, bombing hospitals and schools is a crime. to Article 18 of the Fourth Geneva Convention. Yeah. And the terrorists to the ground in just five months of their genocidal yeah! and yeah! yeah! The world should put an end to Israel's exceptionalism and racism towards the Palestinians. The double standard. So if we want the murder, the genocide, and now a second holocaust that is unfolding to end, then we have to hold these corrupt Western governments accountable for their complicity in war crimes. We need to make Israel a pariah state. The United Nations was established after World War II in an attempt to maintain peace and security, to achieve cooperation among nations, build economic and social ties, but most importantly, to enforce the respect for humanitarian laws, to make sure that the horrors of 1941 never happen again. To make sure that the ethnic cleansing and Holocaust never happens again. But when they said never again, clearly they were selective on who this applies to. The UN have let humanity down. They failed their sole purpose. Disproportionate Israeli military response is a threat to international peace and security. Today, the UN actually yesterday had designated Israel as a child-killing state. As ago, overpay, it began to show where the power in society leads. And one of the things this movement has to do, as well as the BDS, is we have actually got to say it is not enough for us to march. We actually have to have those discussions in workplaces where we say to one another, we are going to stop work for Palestine. We are going to stop work. We are going to strike for Palestine. Gazans and the West Bank are being, we know, murdered by Israel. We have to take seriously the idea that we actually have to
to up the ante. We have to fight harder. Yes. We have to organise better.